In previous Weekend Wisdom Talks, I had spoken about and compared the mind to a garden you were trying to grow. This week, I want to elaborate on the fertile soil of your mind and not only watch out for the weeds that inevitably grow, but also to be aware of what others may throw into your soil. When you watch the news, what you read, when you talk to other people, it all represents seeds being thrown on your garden of mind. You want to make sure that as few rotten seeds as possible are thrown into your soil. Making sure that the healthy seeds of other people land on your mind isn't rocket science, and there are a few basic steps we can take. Don't spend excessive time with people who bring you down, or don't embrace and understand your personal mission. Also, don't let the haters occupy too much space or time in your garden. Next, read useful and positive material, and read a lot of it. You can expand reading to watching, but just make sure it's positive. And don't let social networks be the main source of your information. Browse educational, not entertainment, internet sites. And up the quantity of your game. And listen to positive music and different audiobooks. You can also go to seminars, lectures, subscribe to blogs, vlogs, and never stop learning. All of these simple things are part of your personal infrastructure. Your personal infrastructure is like a sieve that separates healthy seeds from the rotten ones so that they don't even have a chance to reach you. Build yourself an outstanding infrastructure and your garden of mind will start to blossom. But even if you build yourself an outstanding infrastructure, a few rotten seeds will still land in your soil. Luckily, you can only be infected with negative ideas if your mind is fertile ground for such negative words and concepts. Make sure you're simply not sensible to anything negative, because you know very well that you can't live a positive life with a negative mind. You can only be infected with a negative idea if your mind is fertile ground for such negative words and ideas to grow. And last but not least, make sure you take good care of the soil. And that brings us back to the body. A healthy mind can only reside in a healthy body. So make sure you're taking good care of your body, especially your brain. It's actually not that hard to do. There are only five major things you must do to take good care of the soil. A healthy diet means a healthier brain. Eat a lot of green veggies and fruit in moderation. A high amount of healthy fats, low amounts of sugar, and consume low amounts of alcohol. Exercise at least three times a week. Go for a 30 minute walk if nothing else. Exercising in nature is much better than doing nothing all day long. Get enough sleep every night. It's the number one thing for keeping your brain healthy and making sound decisions. If you're sleepy, you don't act as rationally as you should. Reduce the amount of stress in your life. Stress slowly kills you and it also kills your brain and the ability to take good care of your garden. Increase your margins, simplifying your life, and learn to manage stress properly. Constantly try new things. Challenge yourself, travel, talk to new people, never get bored, do a creative task every day, do art, brainstorm ideas, write. You can do brain teasers, games, and different puzzles. You can play challenging video games, but constantly try new things. Your mind is like a garden. Make sure it's a unique and beautiful garden. You will be rewarded with a happy and high quality life and people will love to spend time with you. There is no wiser life advice than to take good care of your body and take good care of your mind, for together they are the soil of your life. As always, peace and love, Jim. <laughs>